Somewhere around 8 a.m. I checked out. Where's Craig? I woke up with a little, what happened? A little sore throat. Is that Craig? And it's getting worse. It's, oh, beautiful. That's the actual Craig? Yeah. The yeah. Craig? My Craig idol. Newmark. Why yeah. is he sweating? Him? Look at him there. I'm like thinking Craig. of how much Can money he has in his that? pockets. Fucking guy, I love him. Can you believe that? I'm From a, Craigslist. I might hug him when he walks in. From do the, Craigslist. Please do that. Please do that. Uh, we got, uh... There are you Craig from Craigslist? Yes. Aww. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a big hug. He doesn't even... You guys have never met him. Jimmy just gave him... I love him. A nice big hug. Guys are greatest. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, let's go to Chris in New York before we move on here. Chris? Hey, Ed. Uh, those two other guys are vacation. I just figured I'd call you because you're working by yourself today. Oh, you want to just uh, have a chat with me? <laughs> yeah, how are those... How's Buddy doing and those rotten little kids? They're not rotten kids. They're just kids. And kids will be children. That's they will not, be kids. And I, I'm not uh, into that whole thing. That's not what you've been telling us. No, I say they run, I I say wrong, no. Jimmy, run around. Jimmy, what does he say when the mics are off? I say, Ant, how's it going? He goes, well, the little pornographic models are doing okay. <laughs> you are a fucking ass. I have never said that. I, I kind that. of heard it like that myself. A lot of bathtub photos. <laughs> right. I say... I imagine someone's running around the big mansion right now trying to turn off all the XM satellite radios. I say, right. <laughs> shut it off. You should just have a master switch in your house to turn off everything. A big on. cartoon power Ooh. switch. No, what what I do, I, I've said that kids are constantly running around. Why is Tyson and never stop? Dude. And, and, and parents are constantly going, stop it, put that down, don't do that, get over here, put this, get, go over there, go over here, get away from that, close that, open it. And it's like, how could, how does anybody look at that and go, that's what I want to do, I want to be a parent, I want to have fucking kids. It, when your whole existence is now keeping them from doing things or making them do things. Excuse me. It's insanity. I know this is interesting uh, uh, stuff. Of but, course it is. But I just got a text message from my friend Tyson Walter. Like my fucking story. I'm telling a story, and you're saying, "Oh, I'm I'm, I'm glad that I, I know this is interesting stuff." But I'm gonna read Tyson, my fucking text message. I love you too. Goddamn rich cunt. Actually, goddamn rich cunt. Goddamn rich cunt. Craig's a little directed at, at Craig. Goddamn rich cunt. Uh, uh, Tyson writes, "I feel jilted. You never call me anymore." And how about those Yankees? Fuck your message. You got one, too? Yes. All right. I got one. It says, good morning, Fuhrer. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one says, Heil Hitler. <laughs> oh, so we have Craig. Who yes. I, Hi, Mark, Craig. Um, Craig, I want to apologize for the first five minutes of this interview <laughs> dude, as I throw up those quotation marks. This is an amazing uh, stat right here. We all know Craigslist. If you don't know Craigslist, I don't know what to tell you. Jimmy um, uses it, uses Craigslist. Um, just about every day. Well, uh, and maybe I, he doesn't want to talk about that. Part I use Craigslist Craig's a lot, and somebody told me recently there is something on there other than services, therapeutic and erotic. Um, <laughs> apparently, there are other uses for the site. Uh, I've never actually seen them, but you can do anything. I actually, uh, I think I found an apartment in L.A. on Craigslist. I mean, it was it's yep, everything. All right, how did you do it? Uh, basically, I didn't. I just had one idea about uh, about 11 years ago. I was telling friends about what I thought were cool events in San Francisco, arts and technology stuff. Mm -hmm. Other people suggested things, and I followed through. A few years later, I made it into a real company, now led by this guy named Jim Buckmaster, who, you know, who's really running things now. What are you, but a figurehead? Uh, my namesake. I tell people that I'm the uh, glamorous figurehead. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I don't understand how you go from something like that, because everybody's had a dopey idea for a website, to it making money and actually, you know, contributing to people's lives. Well, I prefer to have as few ideas as possible of my, of my own. Uh, basically, people tell us what they need and what they want, and we think about it. We try to do what makes sense to people, and we follow through, and then we uh, ask for more ideas. Your site, it says, serves over four billion page views a month. Your seventh overall, which I guess in the world. Jesus. Behind Foundry Music and like six <laughs> others. Foundry and <laughs> Eatabullet.com. What is ahead of you? That, that's more yeah. interesting to me. What is getting more than four billion hits? Uh, let's guess. I say Google. <laughs> I would uh, say, uh, okay. is AOL site yeah. count? Yahoo. 
Well, there are a bunch of sites ahead of us, and ahead of us in a really, really big way. There's the top echelons. You look at the numbers. Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft sites uh, yeah. do uh, do a considerably better. Yahoo. Bastard. And now uh, ch- there are Chinese sites which are beginning to do uh, better Obvious and better. Said. Uh, been uh, saying, uh, sir, the Chinese are coming. The Chinese are coming. Thank That's you. been his uh, his battle cry for, as far as technology goes, and uh, uh, using all all the fuel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's got a problem with the um, Japanese uh, Japanese uh, Chinese using all the all the fuel. I, I just have a problem yeah. with the Chinese. The other Asian countries are fine in my book. There's too many as far as, but they're they're now uh, using. Uh, they have access to Craigslist over there in China? Uh, as far as we could tell, yeah. Censored out, one of those censored sites. As far as we know, no censoring. But, you yeah. know, we honestly uh, don't know. We only right now support English. We're behind. Oh, really? Yeah. The only, I think the best part of Craigslist is not invasive. Like, you don't get ads and shit unless, unless you say it's okay for them to contact you, which is great. I mean... Um, you put an ad out or you answer an ad, nobody fucks with you after that. Nobody bothers you. Believe me, I've spent my balls, thank you. I've spent a lot of money See, now, on Craigslist. Now, a lot of people uh, do legitimate uh, transactions yeah, most people. And, and things on Craigslist. They but, find but apartments. what most people know about it, because it's made the most noise, is the sex angle. <laughs> the hooking up. <laughs> the... Uh, the um, uh, g- girls for hire, things that that are considered quite illegal. Uh, how do you deal with that? Well, most people go on the site for jobs or housing, but mm-hmm. a lot of people are interested in the uh, personals, and some of them uh, aren't legitimate. Uh, we want to know about them. We want to. Uh, we do want to get rid of anything illegal on the site. Yes, but people tell us the priorities and that kind of stuff. First should be things like scams, and in particular, New York. Frankly, the thing I'm most concerned with are uh, apartment brokers who aren't straight with people, particularly guys, uh, apartment brokers practicing bait and switch. Yeah, because that makes the news a lot more than 14-year-old girl (laughs) with a shovel over her head. Hey, 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 he was working with us there. I'm kidding, of course. That 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 happens on MySpace. I'd actually rather still go after that than the sex stuff. They should go after the apartment brokers. He was working with us. That was a code word. Oh, <laughs> for prostitution. Apartment broker is uh, bait and switch. <laughs> You're an ass. Thinking you're getting a fine, brand new apartment, and it's and uh, a hooker shows up. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> oh, not necessarily. Sorry, you, you get a broken down a apartment. Do you have any special Craigslist privileges because you're Craig? You have to. Uh, you think I would, but uh, I don't have the uh, I don't have the energy these days. Like I sold my last car on the site, that kind of thing. Yeah, and you see my address there. Because, you know, my email address is Craig at craigslist.org, and that's what I answer. So if people see it there, they uh, they know it's me. Mm. Sometimes they don't they, believe it. They probably think it's another Craig. Uh, could be, or they assume that Craig is just kind of some kind of general inbox at the site. You ever, have, you ever had the, the cops uh, come to you because of something that's happened on Craigslist? Or lawsuits, anything like that? Not much in the way of lawsuits, but the idea is sometimes someone tries to run a small scam or, let's say, there's a little bit of harassment to the site. Yeah. Cases like that, we uh, make that the high priority. Uh, we help the cops go after the bad guys. Sometimes. files. Yeah. Well, yeah. Some, sometimes when the cops uh, don't know the uh, forensics or the law involved, right. we'll uh, coach them. Really? Well, the idea is you got to try to do the right thing. Yeah. And any any ever any guilt or anything? Uh, you know, you would think that maybe you know if if uh, you hadn't have uh, come up with this, that somebody might still be alive, you know, <laughs> or something like that, or uh, you know, because because uh, Craigslist has popped up in the news on a, a few occasions and some pretty notorious little things that have happened. Uh, there's been some problems. Uh, the cops and even DAs, yeah. even cops and DAs in New York, tell us we do a better job than they could expect us to do. Really? Yeah. Policing yourself? Well, mostly the people who use our site police it. How much do you... I've seen... <laughs> I'm going to choke. What are you having? Tuna fish. Oh, I've yeah. seen people bashing each other. Yeah. Like, really shit-talking. How do they go after that? Uh, if it gets to the point of harassment and it gets to our notice, we tell them to cut it out. And if uh, How about they print personal information about you? If they oh, put our personal yeah. information, uh, usually it's flagged away. I mean, the people who use our site 
have a lot of power over it. The flag yeah, flagging mechanism. Yeah, yeah, I've done that before. Are you respected in the uh, internet community? Do you go to uh, events or meetings where a lot of these people, like uh, the guy from MySpace, might be there, or you know, some other? And you you, oh, you, you mingle. Um, people do seem to have. Uh, they like us. Are and you looked upon like you know? Oh, that's Craig. Uh, sometimes it's just a whole uh, love-hate thing. Yeah. For example, among uh, newspaper classifieds managers, right? The deal there is that they like what we do, but if it's interfering with their business at all, uh, mm. that they're not fond of. Yeah. Although the amount of uh, the amount of business we take from their classifieds has been exaggerated in a really big way. Are you a millionaire from this site? You are, right? Uh, nothing like you're thinking. No, no. Uh, the deal no? is that, well... You could the, probably sell it for yeah. a lot. Well, we could. We could sell it for huge amounts of money. Uh, I've been thinking about that a lot, and uh, once you're living pretty comfortably, yeah. what's the point of it? Like, I know some of these big guys uh, who have made, uh, some who are literal billionaires, <laughs> and these guys yeah. got to travel around with, uh, oh, with bodyguards. Oh, my but God. You don't, you don't have to. I... Don't have to. I just took the subway here, which is uh, how I prefer to travel in New York. Really? And that you gotta watch out for, for sawzall guys that try to cut you up. It's on the front page of the paper today. Well, I would never take the subway. Do you use the sex ads on Craigslist? No. At this point, I've after doing customer service, which is my full-time gig. After doing customer service for a lot of years. I've seen a lot of stuff on uh, like erotic services, and at this point, it gets just it's just boring and uh, pretty tedious. Mm. What's your day-to-day -day operation? Then? Like, what do you, what do you do as far as uh, as running this? If, if other people are pretty much running the ship, what do you do? Uh, I get up. I do customer service. You do customer service. Uh, I'm, more, I'm more part of the team that so does some, customer service. But if someone like calls and needs customer service, they might get you. Uh, if they email. Oh, it email. Is, we do we do limited phone support. Right. Most of it. <laughs> Most of it's uh, uh, via email, and that works out uh, pretty well. And and they'll get like you'll get back to them, the uh, Craig. If it's sent to me, I'll either do it myself if I'm uh, too busy or if I'm like out my way out the door, or in the case yesterday to the plane, I'll delegate it. Do a private plane. <laughs> no. Only in my imagination. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that would be nice. I fly continental only. Uh, youngest Fleet, right? <laughs> no, Jimmy I'm, tells me. That blue. Jet blue now? Not youngest Fleet. fleet. Mm -hmm. But you ain't getting no first class. <sighs> you at least fly first class, right? Uh, let's say blue. I've started indulging myself in business class. That's yeah, not... Okay, you fly see? Fun. You're correct, dude. Enjoy it while you can. I would put out personals and just go, this is my list, motherfuckers. You know why? Because I think this whole internet thing is a fad. I think uh, before you know it, we're going to go back to books. That's what I've been telling Phone people. books, things like that. Uh, eight millimeter reels, stag films. The I'm good sure, old days. I'm sure that'll happen. Yeah, sure it will. <laughs> well, Craig Newmark. I recommend Craigslist very highly. Thanks. I love it. I sincerely do use it all the time. He does, I know. We, we've talked about it for uh, for years. GFE, you know, um, BBBJ. GFE, oh. yeah, you know what all these things are, right? <laughs> of course he does. Only, only a few these days. Yeah, I, uh, after I you see too you. much, it all uh, blurs yeah. together. Do you have access to all the information? Like, you could just go and see all the information? -E. Uh, I could. Oh, man, I, uh, be. Right now, for me, it's just work. It's just could you hook yeah. me up? Sure. Could you hook me up? Because I'm a big Craigslist user, and I promote you guys all the time. L. Why? You, you, why? You want to. I want the inside skinny. You ain't getting shit. -E and it ain't the skinny either. Shoving your mouth like that. I want There's mayo in there and everything. F -A You're going to be a mess. Spit that out. B A <laughs> <-L> <laughs> You're used to hearing that, e you bastard. Well, anyway, Opie. Anyway, thank you, Craig, well, thanks, for stopping Craig. in and giving us a little insight here on something everybody uses, Craigslist. I recommend Craig's. I highly recommend. Hold on. <laughs> I recommend that you use it. I'm on Thank it constantly. You. Go up, Fucking go under erotic or go under uh, therapeutic. Or you can change apartments. You can do whatever you want on this site. Yeah. And personal ads. For free. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. all free. free. And they don't fuck you. And like they don't that. try to get money out of you. No. And they don't contact you. It's great. It's just 
whoever can help each other out. I like that. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Craig. Very good. Thanks. There we go. Done with uh, Craig. Craig Newmark. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Iraq can show you. Uh, I want a picture right with Craig. Thank, thank you. You yeah. want a picture there? I right? certainly do. Jimmy? Yeah. I want a picture with you, Craig. That's good. To yeah. sna- get a, get a, uh, what they call a snapshot. I mean, hold on, turn it on. Ah, that's a snapshot. There it is. I've, I've heard of those snapshots. Yeah, snapshot. <laughs> well, you know. Back in the old days, we used to call them that before this uh, digital uh, age. Shut up. I still say. Thanks a lot. It's a fad. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Take it easy, my friend. Right. Take care. All right. So long. Craig? Uh, is, is, uh... Craig, uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold. I asked for I asked for fucking pretzels an hour ago. Is this, yeah. Is the sound off? What happened? Is, 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 is he? Um, what happened? Oh, Why would he be on his way out? Jesus. Christ. What happened? That was the most difficult interview <laughs> I've ever conducted. I was <laughs> trying not to laugh during the whole thing. I'm just trying to work. On I bit my tongue three times trying not. I'm just to. trying to work on new bits. I'm just trying to come up with a new bit. Who got me pretzels? Jimmy asking questions with a mouth fucking uh, full of tuna. I didn't, really, I, I didn't want to fuck with him. He seemed like a nice guy, but it was a little I slow know. going. <laughs> Jeff, what's up? <laughs> Hall of Fame, Opie. Hall of Fame. Oh. I heard I heard about the first five minutes of that nice, soft, torn voice he had when he started talking about his boss, Mr. Buttmaster, and that's about when you started cutting in, and I laughed. I, I didn't hear a word after that. I awesome. Did, I started spelling at the end. Oh, yeah. I, I and as I was spelling uncomfortable words, Riley. Anthony would get louder and louder. Yeah, I know. I was <laughs> you were going to give a plug for F.H. Riley's. Oh, uh, I should have. There you go. Oh, awesome. Uh, thank you, sir. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be at uh, F.H. Riley's all weekend long, some of us from the uh, the fine radio show, my brother's restaurant there in Huntington, 400 New York Avenue. Oh, yes, Look at Josh. What the, fuck, what the fuck is Anthony doing? Trying to conduct an interview, yeah. Josh. Um, I believe you had the wrong party. Here's what you do, Josh. <laughs> Anthony was playing the straight man. Someone uh, thought Terry Schiavo was in the studio. <laughs> 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 yeah. Colin, what's up? Hey, were you taking a shit? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to. Yeah, he, he had um, nothing to do with Craigslist. He, uh, it yeah, it like you were taking it, a- and he didn't want to talk about the 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 the, the, the prostitution thing. The dirty stuff. The dirty stuff. We like the dirty stuff. Yeah. He's trying to claim that they're they're trying to get that stuff off. No, whatever. I'm just pinching my helmet. Uh, Let's go to Matt in Massachusetts. (laughs) What else is there? Opie, you madman. I was laughing so hard I swallowed my fucking gum. Oh, thank you, sir. You know the best time to swallow your gum right when you fucking get a girl that you can't believe is actually going to let you eat her pussy and you don't want to take the time and break the mood and put your gum on the nightstand so you got to swallow it. <laughs> swallow it. <laughs> let's go to Craig. Uh, well, no, th- we were talking to Craig. Uh, let's let's go to Turtle from Whack Bag. Turtle. Hey, guys. Craig is a horribly boring ass and Obi, you are a genius. I really wish I would have had the you. guts to not be in studio and call in. God damn it. No, Faggot we again. went different that time. We went no, different I know, that but I, I just wish that for the love of all, I don't know. I was looking at Jimmy for approval. <laughs> I wouldn't look at you because I was going to laugh. I, I wouldn't look, look at you. I saw you starting to smirk a little. I laughed got too loud. loud. It <laughs> got too loud. And I and like I said, my questions got louder. Every time Opie got louder, my questions got louder. And then I looked over at Opie and started laughing. I well, when you, the I, line that got me the, to to really laugh is when he was when he did, he said besides bore people to death. <laughs> <laughs> so I also wrong. spelled out kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, the spelling at the end was a little much. Uh, well, this this always comes up after something like all right, like this that just happened. Token Jew, what's up? Well, it's happening. Hey. Hi. Dude, that guy was boring as a motherfucker, but yeah. I got to say, it's hard for you guys to get guests that you're going to be a complete ass to everybody that comes in, dude. We were nice to the, We're nobody. not asses oh, to, everybody, to everybody. Holy See, shit. all of a sudden, it's everybody. Were we nice, were we nice to Joel McHale from the soup? Guess. 
Eighty percent of your guests are just a complete ass. Oh wow! No, we're not. You are so wrong. All right. The, the only guys recently would be this guy who they were just being silly with, and the author who was lying. Yeah, the author was lying. If, That's it. it. Here's well, the deal: if the guest deserves it, then he gets it. Get us a month's no worth problem. of guests. Get us a list of a month's worth of uh, the guests yeah, we we've sure had on what, this show. We weren't sure which uh, which direction the uh, director thing was going to go in, and it turned out to be a nice little interview. Nothing oh too my exciting God. that we're going to replay. But who, who else, I sir? can't even fucking look over at Jimmy. Why? Look at look. Who cares? Why do you got a heart on? I, just, I told you I was pinching it. He's got he's got a fucking bulge. It's not a full man. heart on. Well, who doesn't? Oh God! Just don't even pay attention to it. So what? What guests? <laughs> don't even pay. It's not. It's not worth looking at. That's got to hurt. Dude. No, it just bent a little bit. It's like a little bit bent. Ow! He's bending it in half. No, no, it's bent back towards me like that. Go ahead. Uh, so we'll, we'll, is that, I, I can make bat wings. <laughs> <laughs> what guest, sir? Where's the guy? Is he gone? <laughs> you need foul talk today. There's a guy in my neighborhood that sells books and looks just like that. Oh, he has big balls. I, I pointed out to Jimmy one day. Uh, Blake in Illinois, what's up? Uh, yeah, nice I just want to comment about the shit dick last week that said that we don't need Opie. Yeah. Fuck you, you rule. Yeah. Op. yeah I had oh, a, fuck I, you, I had, man. I had a good day of radio and I had a good one line or two about uh, we threw one back. Yes. That, yes. that got a good laugh, too, so I did two good things. Sally in Look Chicago. The, replay. the only interview I ever heard you guys do that was worse was that one with that mood elevator drug doctor. What was his God, name? God, oh, we yeah, replayed that, that recently. I forgot how great that was. <laughs> That's all. Bye. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Craig from Craigslist interview was oh, really brutal. Oh, that was so much fun to listen to in the brutal. replay. Brutal. Unfortunately, <laughs> this side of the Opie and Anthony show, a lot of you missed uh, our interview with Craig from Craigslist. Yeah. It was just because the way we sit at the XM studio, it's kind of like this, but it's wider. So it's like I'm, I'm here. This doesn't help. Ants to my no. left and Opus directly across. It's We're a, still at a triangle. It's a triangulation of crossfire. <laughs> And we're still triangulated, Craig but we're sitting further away from each other. And Craig was on my right, which would be Opie's left, to make a square. But uh, Ope had a monitor in front of him and was just kind of leaning back. More like a parallelogram. I disagree. I was going to say it's going to be something like a pentagon, but with not that many points. Trapezoid. <laughs> Can't think of any more. Trapezius. <laughs> kind of like a circle with points. Isosceles triangle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's terrible. I'm, please, can we hear that? <laughs> Big bear-like dolt. Uh, you know. No, 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 no. Oh, what a stroke of luck. I just hit that one. That That's terrible. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> he stinks. Oh, so the Craigslist. And it was so awkward because he, he always starts making these awful noises. And I'm like, I know he can hear this. Yeah. How can he not address this while he's just... F Babbling. He's just bombing. He was babbling in a way, so too. so bad. It was his tone of voice. Not even just everything that was coming out of his mouth, but he would talk like this and be all, and Craigslist started, but I don't really do much on it. See, it's my name. He was a nice enough fella. Yeah, just but... Just a bit slow. So, some energy. Yeah, but at this point in my career, I can't be bothered with people that are BSing us. There were times in our past... Someone would BS, you let him get away with it. You're like, all right, whatever, I'll go with it. But when he said that he didn't really want to acknowledge that Craigslist uh, has a lot of people hooking up and looking for prostitutes and this and that, and that that's the yeah. illegal activity, and uh, we we don't really uh, condone that, and, and we're trying to get rid of that part of it. We don't like, focus on it's it. Like and that's, don't. If, if, if they didn't have that angle with Craigslist, uh, it wouldn't be popular. Yeah. And then I'm just like, you know what? I can't be bothered with you if you're not going to acknowledge that this is going on. Well, he said that the, the thing that they're going after the like now is the apartment, like the scumbags who like a bait and switch with apartments, like people that screw people out of apartments. A lot of people do use it for uh, real estate and apartments. But I, I'd rather see them going after those guys because they're real criminals. I, I like then, the fact that I'm bothering the hookers. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And guys like me. <laughs> Leave right. Jimmy alone. Just looking for a gal. But <laughs> someone to talk to because I'm lonely. <laughs> But then, uh, yeah, I started making all just obnoxious noises, which made Anthony, like, start talking a lot louder to I try to cover louder. it up. Yeah, trying to cover up. This, uh, but I know he's hearing it, and I don't know what good it's doing me getting louder and louder with my questioning of him. And then I have to come up with questions in my head, but the and, best and I don't part, care what he's saying. The best I, part is he's looking around the studio wondering if anyone else is hearing this noise, and you guys are playing it perfectly like you're just hearing something we're not really hearing. Yeah, I was trying or to Or it's a normal noise face. or whatever. 
Yeah, you know? he was he was just uh, really a boring interview. And then I started wow. spelling things under my breath, like kill <laughs> yeah, yourself. And that was getting that was the most uncomfortable part. Spelling out bald because you know he's <laughs> he's spelling out other things. He's hair challenged. <laughs> You questioning people's sexuality? <laughs> well, I even catch that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I caught that one. <laughs> That's when I got as loud as I could possibly. <laughs> so this Craigslist thing, F A G. <laughs> Good thing you're not Bob Kelly. You would have just went after F A G I T. <laughs> Stupid idiot he is.